Auz billahi minash shaitan rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim My name is Dr. Atawar Rahman and I have with Dr. Naila and Dr. Zubair Ahmed Zubair Zubair is our patient and Naila is Dr. Naila is our doctor and I am presenting our PPT So you can cooperate with us for be silent This is our group group E this is our members So today we examine abdominal examination for today first introduction before examination wash hands introduce yourself to the patient confirm patient details name date of birth explain the examination gain consent expose the patient chest first position patient at 45 ask patient if they have pain anywhere before you begin general examination appearance looks well consciousness alert body build average thin or obese color pale sinusoid jaundice db decubate decubatus patient position in bed distress difficulty in breathing abdominal distension examination of the upper limb clubbing of nails Leukonychia, white nails seen in hypoalbuminemia. The albumin normal level will become become norm abnormality. Depo depotrains contracture. Depotrain contracture. Palmar edema. liver flap we will check the in the liver flap ten, tendon xanthema yellow discoloration of tendon at rest hyperlipidemia examination of hand and neck i paler in anemia yellow in jaundice eyes xanthe Xanthelisma, xanthelisma, hyperlipidemia, corneal arcus, neck, lymph nodes, sea respiratory system examination, chest, spider, navy, in disturb, in disturbance of, in disturbance of, SEV, it fades if you compress the central arterioles. in liver in liver cell failure male gynecomastia enlargement breast in male with tender arteriolar arteriolar disc liver disease examination of the lip, of the lower limb skin change muscle wasting loss of hair edema pating in non pating unilateral or bilateral level check lower limb edema pating edema or dr vijay okay hello my name is dr naila i'm a final medical student today we'll be examining your abdomen this will involve looking from the end of the bed listening with a stethoscope and feeling different areas of the abdomen would that be okay okay so first i would like i would like to confirm your details can you please tell me your name your age 24 date of birth 2022 okay so first i'm going to start with general inspection from the end of the bed here i'll be looking at the appearance of my patient if he looks well or ill 
if he's conscious, alert, or if he looks distressed. Also, I'm going to assess his nutritional status by recording his height, weight, and calculating the BMI. Also, I'll check the color, the, the color of the patient, if he looks pale, diagnosed, or jaundice. Now, I'm going to inspect his hands. Can you please put your hands in front of you? Okay, here I'm checking for gluconychia or colonychia. Okay, now please turn them over to the other side. Here I'm checking for palmar erythema or epitrans contracture, which has an increased incidence in chronic liver disease and alcoholism. Okay, now please bring your fingers together like this. Yeah. Here I'm checking for finger clubbing. Okay, please put them down. This could be associated with liver disease and inflammatory bowel disease. Now, can you please put your arms in front of you? Extend them like this. Here, I'm checking for asterisks or a coarse flapping tremor, which can be seen in respiratory failure with carbon dioxide retention, or it can also be seen in liver failure. Okay, please put them down. Okay, now I'm going to inspect the face and the eyes. Please close your eyes. Okay, open them. Here I'm looking for xandelasma, uh, which can be due to hyperlipidemia. Okay, now can you please pull your lower eyelid like this? Okay, here I'm checking for conjunctival pallor. Okay, please pull your upper eyelid like this. Okay, here I'm checking for the I'm checking the sclera. I'm checking for jaundice. Now can you please open your mouth? Okay, look at your tongue. Okay, here I'm inspecting the mouth, checking for angular stomatitis and mouth ulcers. And I'm also checking the tongue if it's affected, like in conditions like iron, vitamin B12, or folate deficiencies. Okay, now I'm going to palpate the lymph nodes. I'm palpating the cervical lymph nodes as enlargement may be seen in, may be present in metastatic disease. Okay, now I'm going to inspect the chest. Here I'm checking for any spider nevi. More than five spider nevi in the distribution of the superior vena cava is a sign of chronic liver disease. And then also I'm going to examine the, the lower limb. Uh, this can be done by, I'm checking for ankle edema, like you can press on this side here. I'm checking if the indentation remains. Okay. okay, now I'm going to perform examination of the abdomen. Mm -hmm. No abdomen examination, four elements, observation, auscultation, percussion, palpation, and pelvic, male, Genital and female and male and female rectal examination, all critical parts of the abdominal examination covered later <coughs> later in the year. Surface anatomy. Okay. When examining the abdomen, okay, first can you please lay down? Okay, first we'll start with inspection. Okay, can you please uh, expose this from this area? We ask the patient to expose the area from the gephoid process to the pubic symphysis. Okay, in inspection, I'm going to check the abdominal contour of my, pa my patient, if it's flat, rounded, or scaphoid. And then I'm also going to check for scars, which is suggestive of previous abdominal surgery, any masses, distension or pulsations. In this case, my patient's abdomen is flat. Okay, next I'm going to perform auscultation. Here I'm going to be listening to the 
by all sounds. Can you please allow me? Okay, I've listened to the bowel sounds on all the four quadrants of my patient. Okay, now I'm going to listen for the, the renal arteries, the renal arteries, the abdomen aorta, and the iliac arteries. I'm listening for any breeze. Okay, now I'm going to perform percussion. I'll, I'll do this on all the four quadrants. Normally, there should be a mix of dull and tympanic nodes. Okay, now I'm going to focus for the liver borders. I'm going to start from the lower right iliac fossa going upwards. And now I'm going to look for the upper border of the liver, starting from the mid-clavicular line in the lower part of the nipple. The normal liver span, it should be 6 to 12 centimeters. Okay, now I'm going to focus for the spleen. Normally, the spleen should sound resonant as dullness suggests spinomegaly. And now I'm going to focus for ascites. I'm going to put my one of my hands in the middle part here and then I'll focus laterally. Okay, say for example this part here, if I had a dull sound, I'll ask my patient to turn to the other side and then And then I will focus that same area where I had the down note. And then, if I hear a change in the, if I hear a change in the note, then that means the shifting, the shifting downness test is positive. Stand back. Okay, now I'm going to do palpation. Here I'm going to ask my first. Can you please tell me if you have any pain anywhere in your abdomen? No. Okay. No. Okay, and when I'm palpating, please tell me if you feel any pain. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start palpating superficially, and I'll do it in an s manner, starting from this, from the left iliac fossa, coming this side. I'll first start with the superficial palpation. Okay, now I'm going for deep palpation. 
de ser mano. Okay, now I'm going to palpate for the liver, starting from the lower iliac fossa going upwards. Please take deep breaths as I, as I do this. Okay, now I'm going to palpate for the spleen, starting from this, the umbilical side going towards the left hypochondrium. <coughs> Okay, now I like to puppet for the our puppet to detect fluid wave. Okay, I'll ask my patient to put his hands in the midline of the stomach. Please put your hand here. Yes. And then I'll put one of my hands on this side and then I'll flick this side. If I feel a fluid wave, then that means the test is positive. Okay, now I'll palpate for the kidneys. This is done by putting one of my hands on the lower part of the ribs. I'm using my other hand to palpate firmly. I'll do that on the other side also. See, I'm checking for any signs of the kidney enlargement. Okay, now I'd like to puppet the renal angles. Can you please sit up? Okay. Please lift up your shirt like this. Okay. We puppet for the renal angles on the lower side of the ribs in between the, the lower side of the ribs and the lumbar vertebra. Yes, please tell me if you have any pain. Okay. Shut down. Okay, so that completes my examination. Now I would like to summarize. I've performed an abdominal examination on my patient called Zafar. Sorry, called Zubair, a 24-year-old male. He had no peripheral characteristics of gastrointestinal disease. On inspection, the abdomen was flat with umbilicus centrally positioned. There was no scars or any masses. On auscultation, he had normal bowel sounds. And when listening for vascular sounds, there was no evidence of any breathe. On percussion, there was a mix of tympanic and dull nodes, which is normal. And on palpation, the abdomen was soft and non-tender with no masses or organomegaly. Thank you. Thank you.